Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back here week 8 of the spring summer 2016 over 50 hockey season and we have a real treat on our hands as the Grey Wolves take on the now first place Red Army team. The Red Army coming into this game with a 5-1-1 record looking to try to build off of their 2-1 shootout victory over the Yellow Jackets last week as the Grey Wolves are looking to rebound over their shootout loss against the surviving Green Hornet team. Hi everybody, I'm Angelo Fontella bringing you all the broadcast action here live at the Ice Sports Forum in Brandon, Florida. Joining me in the broadcast booth is Andy Townsend. Andy, what's going on? Oh, not that much, Angelo. It's just another Sunday over 50 hockey game and we're looking forward to see what both of these teams have up their sleeves today. Should be a really exciting matchup, so can't wait to see what's in store for both of these teams. Well, of course, as always, I mean, it seems like you might as well put us on a repeat track every time we say this, but Larry Liebler with six goals and two assists has been a playmaker along with Dan Favier with five goals and three assists. And don't forget Omer Chikwun with five goals and three assists as well. Yeah, and again, you know, that's your top lineup. And surprisingly, last week against the Grey Wolves, we really didn't, or against the Green Hornets, we really didn't see a lot of that first lineup together. Maybe that'll change against this Red Army team. And of course, real quick, just a quick shout out to Steve Gorman from last week scoring his first goal against the Green Hornets, but he leads the team in, in assists with six. How do you think Gorman's gonna help today? Well, of course, the biggest thing for Steve Gorman is to continue doing what he's doing here, you know, playing hard defense and just being a setup man when it comes down to the Red Army zone here today. And just a quick note on the Red Army, just some players to watch out for. Again, Jeff Fuller with four goals, two assists. Not sure if we saw him here today, but of course, you also got Mike Ricci with four goals and three assists as well. And again, both of those players, you know, are leaders on the Red Army team, but not necessarily all the production comes through them. You know, it's, you know, the Red Army play together as a team. That's why they're five, one and one. Starting in net is Mark Rosengard for the Red Army as John Carter is unable to come today. So that should be a, a difference as well. And of course, you kind of forget Lonnie Herman as well with the GAA of 2.57. And Herman in net, let's see what's gonna happen with his performance today. We'll take a quick break here. When we return, we'll have face off to you shortly. Don't go away, we'll be right back. This is Over 50 Hockey on the Pontella Broadcasting Network. Hey fans, don't forget that this game has been brought to you by Grandma's Cookies. Come to make sure you get your pack at the iSports Forum in one of the vending machines. Grandma's Cookies is one of the most delicious snacks you'll ever have. It's the official snack cookie for Angelo Pontillo. It should be yours too whenever you get a chance. Coming in different flavors, oatmeal raisin, chocolate brownie, chocolate chip cookie, and sugar cookie. So make sure you pick up your grandma cookies today. Welcome back here folks. Just moments away from face off. Head official for today's game is Ron Buckner as Galan and Chaquan take the face off. Starting left wing for the Gray Wolves is Matt Sharina. Starting right wing is Brian Vick, defenseman Steve Gorman, and Greg Bell back. Meanwhile, at center for the Red Army is Rick Gallant. Starting left wing, Mike Falbo. Starting right wing, Larry Sincata with defenseman Mike Jackson and Bill Whitlock. Vick trying to get things moving early here for the Gray Wolves. Finds Jaquan in the Red Army zone, trying to get a long pass out over to Brian Vick. He's going to try to set up the shot on point, knocked away by Rosengard. Albo trying to get this one away from Vic, but fails to do so. Now coming over to Whitlock on the other side. He's going to look to try to take the shot from corner. Back out to Sincata. Stripped loose away by Chiquan. Takes it right back. Albo trying to show some pressure. And Fabo's going to break away. Has a real chance here. He'll fire the shot. Knocked away by Herman early on. How about that? Mike Fabo with effort on over Chiquan. A big highlight to see there. Mike Fabo's just very energetic right now. He's looking to try to make a play happen here early. But the Grey Wolves are going to have to step up their game because the Red Army look like they're hungry. You know, now that you mention it, Andy, you know, Red Army, part of the reason why they're 5-1-1 one one is they always start off very strong, especially in the first period. They always seem to get a quick first goal however they can, and teams usually have to try to come from behind in order to defeat them, which, again, has only happened once or twice if you want to consider the shootout. But of course, again, you know, this Red Army team, very aggressive. Can't wait to see what they can do against the high likes of an offensive-minded Grey Wolf team. The shot's knocked away by Rosengard. Mike Ricci will take this one as he picks up the rebound and he will dump this one out to Dominici. Strader's trying to show some pressure. Knocked off a burn. 
And it's going to come back over to Dominici. Knocked away by Andrew Hyman in the Grey Wolf zone. Open puck. Tish trying to take it away, but it'll be scooped back up by Strader. Trying to fire the shot from the right side. Hyman waiting, but Herman was there to knock it off. This was going to come back around to Hyman. Or Ricci to Hyman, it gets past him, and it's going to go all the way back in the Red Army end. Icing waved off, but Grey Wolf will change their line, as does the Red Army. Whitlock trying to move this one up quickly. Dumps it into Dominici, now over to Chacon. Real standing still trying to get to that puck. It didn't do a lot of good for the Grey Wolves that time, but he's looking for redemption here. Gets the pass off the boards out to Sharina. Chaquan quickly trying to skate for the puck. Rosencard will beat him out. Taking a lot of time there, and if Chaquan would have had any pressure there, that might have been a quick error on the Red Army's part. Well, again, with John Carter out, let's see how the Grey Wolves can capitalize against this Red Army defense. Jackson working against Vic. This one back into the Red Army end. Rick Alon picks up on the puck. He'll get this bounce pass the other way out to Sincata. Chacon showing pressure. Now back out to Gallant. Hangs on to the puck. Looks for Whitlock. Intercepted by Gorman. Gets this one around Gallant. And Chacon knocks Whitlock off balance. And this is going to come back over to Sincata. Chacon picks up the puck. And he will dump this one in the Red Army end. And there's your icing call. Biggest thing right now for the Red Army, again, you still want to have that pressure on them, but with the Grey Wolves, they've always been a team that has been consistent throughout most of this game. But keep in mind, Angelo, if it ever came down to the third period, we've seen that these Grey Wolf teams struggle the past couple of weeks when it comes to the third period. I mean, you look at two weeks ago when they played the Yellow Jackets, they had a 6-4 lead. Yellow Jackets tied it up, and then last week, you know, well last week again, they were down against the Grey Wolves, but then that quickly got gaffed because they allowed a last second potential game winning goal. So the biggest thing for the Grey Wolves is they need to find a way to keep consistent when it comes to defense and playing a strong game of hockey. Lieber trying to dribble with the puck with his skates, just didn't get to a stick in time. And now comes Dominici, taken away by Walker. Back over to Favier again. Gray Wolves looking to show some pressure here. 7.54 to go in the opening period. Back around to Hyman. Hyman gets this one cleared out, and it's going to go all the way into the Gray Wolves zone, out to Herman. And he's going to fall on the puck for the save. Ricci coming at him like lightning that time. Herman not going to take any chances. Well, you know, the man, the myth, the legend, Lonnie Herman is going to do everything he can to try to play things safe. And the thing with him that I've noticed about him, Angelo, recently, I mean, despite whatever you say, you know, despite the talent that's out there, Lonnie Herman, as a keeper, has been very manageable and he's been trying his best to, you know, see what's coming at him, how to kind of arrange things, you know, when to hold on to the puck, when not to hold on to the puck. And I think that's definitely has improved thus far this season. So give credit to Lonnie Herman. He's picking up on things real good. Real sips the puck. It's going to miss Madalena. It's going to come back over to Dominici. He Dominici regroups as he gets the pass off the boards out to Favier, working off of Jackson. Favier still trying to keep the puck alive and it's going to be taken away by Whitlock to the Red Army. And it's now Favier in the deep cell looking to connect, set up quickly off to Tish, knocked away, and this one's going to come back over to Liebler. And this one's coming back to Dominici, gets, sets the pass up to Bell. And Favier will take a shot in Red Army zone, knocked away. 6.52 to go, now it's Jackson who gets this one cleared out. And the Grey Wolves will have to regroup. And at that point, icing will be called. Both teams take a lineup change there. One of the biggest things that I see too is you have to look at the way both of these teams have been capitalizing. And again, the, the thing with the Grey Wolves is another thing that they've been struggling the past couple of weeks is taking chances and capitalizing on their advances here. Every time they set up in the opponent zone, it seems like they have the right mix off, but it's not coming there. Ricci on an open breakaway, looking to try to get around Herman, but it's Lonnie Herman that comes up with the save. Herman had enough of his tricks. That's the one of the beauties about Mike Ricci, too, having him 
him on the Red Army is those breakaway opportunities. That's where he's going to come in the clutch. And Ricci has scored a couple of his goals that way too in the four goals he scored thus far this season. Strader working against Sharina as he tries to get this one away from Chip One. Chip One's pass out intended to Sharina again will be picked up by Vic. And it's going to get dumped out by Walker. Now back over to Rishi again for the Red Army. Works against Bell. Back over to Chaquan. Pass intended to Gorman. Instead taken away. Now it's Hyman will take a shot on net. And it gets blocked away by Bell. Back to Strader again looking to pass this one out to Rishi. He's got him. Rishi working against Chaquan. Now back over to Strader. Red Army looking for an opportunity to set up. Gorman knocks this one away. Red Army have to regroup. Sharina fighting for the puck, and it's going to be taken away by Chiquan. Looking for Vic, but deflected away by Hyman. Sharina's shot knocked away by Walker. Chiquan keeping this one in play. Hyman looking for the pass to Falbo. And the puck will be dumped out. Red Army will look to change their line as Reels looks to regroup for the Grey Wolves. His pass out to Dominici. Dominici's back pass completes to Libler, working off of Mike Jackson. Jackson strips it loose. Trying to hang on there. Very close to what could have been a holding call or an interference, but they'll let this one go. Reels. Back over to Jackson. Liebler knocking Jackson off the puck. And this one will come out to Madalena off the boards past Dominici. And here comes Mike Falbo with the line. But it'll be stripped loose by Favier. Liebler back over to Dominici. Four Red Army players coming up on him. And he lost control of the puck. Falbo will clear this one out. Stopped by Reels. Gets it out to Favier. Favier files a shot. Back down by Jackson. And he will get this one passed out to Gallant. Open puck. It's going to be taken by Madalena. No, knocked away by Tish. Now back over to Liebler. Weaver with some open room on the left side. Got Fabier coming up. Shot deflected away by Rosengard. Jackson trying to show some pressure off of Liebler. And will be now taken away by Gallant. Has a real chance here. Two Grey Wolf defenders back in Bell and Gorman. And it's Lonnie Herman that comes up with a glove save. 4.08 to go in the opening period. Still no score here at the Ice Sports Forum. But both of these teams look like they're not going to give up an inch. Well, of course, if these teams continue to do what they're going to do, it's all going to come down to the last minute of play or which mistakes which team gives up first. Bell's pass out to Strader. And Hyman will knock this one back into the Grey Wolf then. Ricci looking for the setup. Gets out to Steve Byrne, gets passed over the blue line, will have to regroup. Sharina fighting for the puck. Steve Byrne trying to keep this one alive. And they give it right back over to Sharina and the Grey Wolves. Here comes Chaquan. Looking for some setups here. Grey Wolves having some production in the Red Army zone, but it's going to be taken away by Ricci. Ricci with a long pass over to Strader, just off of his shaft, and Gorman's chasing after the puck. Gorman working off a straighter, almost knocked Ricci's head off. Walker shot deflected off by Gorman. Steve Byrne has to regroup for the Red Army. And he will dump this one into the Grey Wolf end. Gorman picks up on the puck. Red Army changing their lineup quickly. Trying to get back in action as Chaquan and company are going to look to try to make a play happen. Chaquan into the Red Army zone. We'll fire the shot and he'll miss to the left. Whitlock with the setup, looking for foul ball just off of his stick, and now it's Greg Bell chasing after the puck. This one's sliding off, deflected off by Jackson. Looking for foul ball, who gets this one in the Grey Wolf end. Herman keeps it away from company, finds Gorman. Looks to get the pass out to Tish. Bill Tish now with the puck. And his dumb pass, not exactly sure what he was trying to do with that. I don't know if it was a pass to Favier or if he was trying to get that one cleared out. Boy, you're not the only one that's confused there, Angelo. I was a little bit confused myself. I wasn't exactly sure if that was a pass or a, or a dump out. Favier, this is his pass, but still regains possession of it. 
Now back over to Liebler on the right side. He has some room to take a shot. He'll fire it. And Rosengard looking to try to go through. And was it a, the question is, was it a save or did they count that as a goal? Because it looked like the ref blew the whistle early. And I think it's going to be a save there by Rosengard. It looked as if at first the Grey Wolves might have had an initial goal, at least from our view. It looked like it might have went through Rosengard's five hole, which apparently seems to be his weak spot these past couple of weeks. Any time you've seen on the film where keep, uh, shoot has been taking shots on this keeper, it's always been through that five hole. Rosengard has to step up his game in that area. Reels firing the shot. Rosengard with a save. I, no, play's still going to go on. He's going to try to hang on there and... It'll officially be a save. Referees were trying to let the play go out as Liebler was trying to get last few minute jabs in there to see if he could punch it past Rosengard. But the Grey Wolves will regroup deep in the Red Army zone. A minute 43 to go in this game. Liebler getting this pass out to Rios. Fired shot, misses off the right side. Favier with the setup, knocked away by Rosengard. Dominici picking up the rebound. We're going to continue the offensive setup, and Steve Byrne now with the puck. He's going to get this one cleared out. And Mike Ricci's there. Only reels back for the Gray Wolves. Ricci shot fired, deflected off of Herman. Hyman almost got through there and might have tapped it in. Oh, that was a little bit scary there at first. It looked like Andrew Hyman might have had a shot if he had just an extra stride in there that time. That might have been a nice deflection tap off, but he was just there a little too late. Lots of slipping and falling here early. Steve Byrne with the puck as we are now in the final minute of this opening period. Byrne back over to Walker. And he will look to dump this one in the Grey Wolf end. Reels retrieves the puck, finds the pass out to Favier. Favier sets it up to an open Chaquan. Two defenders back for the Red Army. Chaquan with the deep move around Whitlock, still hanging on to the puck. He'll fire the shot, just misses to the right. And the shot backfired the other way. Strader holds on to the puck. Strader trying to get this one around Gorman. And now it's out to Whitlock on the right side. He'll fire the shot himself. No room there. Herman had it blocked off. Chacon will skate this one up. Finds Favier. And here comes Sharina. Shot backfired away. Now back over to Chacon. 13 seconds. Looking to set up the other way to Sharina. Fires the shot. And it is saved by Mark Rosengard. Wow. I'm telling you, Angelo, Mark Rosengard, when you give him the opportunities at times, you know, despite whatever we've seen these past couple of weeks, when he's in his zone, he is going to be absolutely insane when it comes to that, that just game playing there. Gotta love it. Gallant and Chacon on the faceoff. This one comes back over to Gorman. Fired shot, knocked away by Rosengard again. Gallant, get this one out over to Sankata. And that's pretty much going to end the first period there. Sincata will take one shot. Almost had a chance there that time. It looked like it was just off left of the net. Well, of course, that's one of the biggest things that you have to see is just the big opportunities there by the Grey Wolves. And this is exactly what we've seen the past couple of weeks with this team. It's can this team try to capitalize on their chances? And you think with Oma Chacon and company that they have everything they need. But right now, it's... They still can't even put in a goal in, which has been very interesting. Well, we'll take a quick break here as we reach first intermission. No score here at the iSports Forum. We've got a whole heck of a lot more hockey left to be played here. When we return, you are watching Over 50 Hockey's Game of the Week on the Pontello Broadcasting Network. here folks just moments away from starting the second period it'll be Omer Chaquan and Rick Alon on the faceoff and Sincata trying to get away from Chaquan's possession he does but it'll be taken by Gorman for the Grey Wolves and this one back in the Red Army end Mark Walker trying to get to the puck misses it here comes Chaquan golden opportunity to set up the Sharina just off of his skate and therein lies the opportunities Red Armies are the Red Army is starting to open up the back door just a little bit just a little crack, and the Grey Wolves trying to take advantage, but once again, they're still trying to find ways to finish. Jaquan in the deep slot, working off of Gallant. Trying to find Gorman, and will be knocked away by Sincata. Walker will get this one cleared out, and the Red Army will have some breathing room as Bell will let this one go back. 
Bell's pass intercepted by Gallant. And Gallant will get this one deep in the Grey Wolf zone. Bouncing puck picked up by Liebler. This one goes off the boards. Now back over to Walker. Finds Strader. And Strader will get over center ice. Heading into the Grey Wolf zone and he will dump this one in. This one comes back over to Tish. Strader looking to set up over the reach. He's trying to fire the shot. Misses to the left again. Hyman now back over to Jackson. Misses him. And it's a lucky break there for the Grey Wolves. And what's more than just a lucky break is again Red Army now getting a few opportunities to try to capitalize offensively and the puck control is starting to hurt them a little bit. Tish. Trying to get the shot the other way, but Hyman was there waiting for the Red Army. And he will now look to set up. Misses Strader, but will get over to Whitlock. Whitlock firing the shot, deflected off of Liebler. Puck back over to Ricci, looking for some setups here. Trying to find his man. And now it's back over to Jackson, back to Ricci. Ricci finds Hyman. Hyman trying to set this one back to Ricci the other way. No one there, straighter, just sitting back door. And the Red Army failed to capitalize again. <laughs> Rosengard deep in his own end. Strader gets it past Reels, and here comes an open Mike Foul, but only Dominici back. And Pete Dominici will get it away from this possession. Red Army will now change their line, slowly but surely. Dominici working off a of foul ball, looking for options, and he'll get the pass out to Chaquan. Chaquan finds Tish. Tish with the back around shot, deflected off. Looking to set this one up to Favier for the finish, and now it's back over to Chaquan in the deep slot. To Tish. Back to Dominici. Working off the of Sincata, and this one's going to come over to Whitlock. Jackson's struggling to get it away from Chacon's possession, but he finally gets it away. Dominici trying to knock this one back the other way out to Whitlock. Now up to Riccolon, has Mike Fable to work with. And just a deflection pass there by Reels just might have saved what could have been a goal for the Red Army that time. Yeah, Fable was right there, and had it passed Reels, Fable would have had his open chance to try to score on him. And Puck taken up by Jackson, Red Army have to regroup. Whitlock trying to fire this one up. Deflected off of Sincata. Now taken away by Sharina and Chaquan. It's two on one. Chaquan firing the shot. Misses to the right. I can't believe what I'm seeing from Omer Chaquan. His, his accuracy has just been completely off today. And of course with a guy like Omer Chaquan, again, you think he tried to come up in front or try to do some finesse plays up front by the keeper, but he's taking a whole lot more long shots and we're not seeing anything go through. And that time Red Army capitalized and I believe it was Larry Sincata that comes up with the finish. And again, and again with the Red Army, they look for ways to capitalize. Larry Sincotta, nice goal there. Ricci claiming with the assist. And we have ourselves now a 1-0 lead. Bug now off the bell. Sets it up to Favier and this one gets cleared out. Rosengard gets this one away. This one's going to come back over to Madalena trying to set this one up. And it comes back over to Gorman. This is Gorman. Here comes Ricci with another breakaway opportunity, but he'll be held off by Bell. And Gorman will pick up on the rebound. Good heads up defense there by the Grey Wolves. They know Ricci is going to be more, though, more likely with a breakout opportunity in this over 50 hockey league. They adjust well. Great job by the defense again. Burn back over to Walker. Deflected again, and this one's going to slide all the way back into the Grey Wolf end. It'll be taken up by Bell, looks to get the pass out to Tish, and Fabo will knock it back in the Grey Wolf zone. Gorman with a nice deflection gets this one away. Tish trying to skate for this one, and he'll work against Mark Walker. 
Tish. And I, nice nifty work, but I wasn't exactly sure where that pass again was going to. It might have been going to Favier there, but again, if you're Bill Tish, try to hang on to the ball just a little bit longer in that situation and try to see if you don't have another guaranteed passer just for you. Whitlock to Jackson. Jackson sets this one up to the line. Heading into the Grey Wolf zone. He's got Ricci to work with. But Galan gets it back over to Sincata, tipped away by Gorman. And he'll get this bounce pass off to Chiquan. And Whitlock will stop the, the chance there. And now it's off to Galan and Ricci, two on one against Greg Bell. Galan fires a shot, bounces off of Herman, and taps back through, but it's Herman that comes up with the save. Riccolo knows that that should have been a second goal there that time. You could see it too, and especially when it bounced off of Herman initially. All that Galon had to do was just shove it in right into the net, and that would have been a 2 nothing Red Army lead, but of course the shot happened to bounce the wrong way, and Herman was able to redeem himself. Still a one nothing game. Dominici trying to flip this one high, kicked off of Whitlock. Red Army must regroup. And Whitlock finds Jackson, and no, Gomer Chiquan takes this one away from Jackson. Chiquan trying to come through the tying goal, and he's got it. Oh, and that's, and that's huge right there. Again, Red Army, a huge gap there. Mike Jackson trying to reel this one in. Chiquan was right on his tail, and as soon as Chiquan got that puck, it was history from there. I, 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 you can't blame Mark Rosengard in that situation. He only did what he could do best as the keeper, but... Give credit to Omar Chikwan. This game is tied up again. 5.33 to go in the second period. And Omar Chikwan's unassisted goal will make this a tied affair once again. And again, bad bouncing on the puck. Chikwan just might be able to make another opportunity happen here. By the blue line, Dominici with the pass out to Vic. Looking to set this one up to Sharina. Bouncing puck. This one coming again. Did this one slide through? No, it's going to come back around and saved by Rosengard. Brian Vick that time looked like he might have had the last chance jab in there, but Rosengard wasn't phased by it. So both teams look like they'll change their line. And faceoff will take place deep in the Red Army zone. out to Dominici working off a of straighter. Back to Byrne. Stop by Reels. Finds Favier. And they will dump this one in again to the Red Army end. Steve Byrne picks up on the puck looking for straighter. Dominici wipes out. And this one's going to come back over to Reels. Reels trying to clear this one away. It'll be taken by Steve Byrne back at his own blue line. Knocked away by Liebler, retrieved by Walker. Looking back over to Gallant. And Dominici pressure forces Gallant to get this one back into the Red Army zone. Gallant trying to hang on to the puck. He's got it. And he'll slip and fall. Good defense there by Liebler. Pass out to Ricci on the left side. He'll fire the shot, hits the crossbar! And it goes through and it's considered a goal! Mike Ricci picks up a goal of his own and the Red Army retake the lead. Oh, that is a beautiful shot there, especially when you hear that ping off the crossbar and into the net. There was nothing you could do about that. Herman's water bottle had a little bit of a jumpy ride there that time. And with 4.15 to go, again, Red Army looking to try to give the Grey Wolves their first regular season loss this spring summer season. Gallant now back over to Walker, back to Gallant again. This one back out to Walker, we'll have to regroup though for the Red Army. Liebler showing pressure. Gorman, this one back over to Favier, now back out to Tisch. Intercepted by Walker as they were looking to try to get Favier the finish. And now bouncing away, lucky bounce there. Now it's Mark Walker, he'll take this one himself. All five Grey Wolf players trying to close in on Walker that time. 
Puck misses to the left, and now it's back over to Gorman. Taken away by Byrne. Stop by Hyman. Looking to set this one up to Strader, but knocked away by Bell. Back to Jackson for the Red Army. Puck taken away by Vic. It'll be Liebler that will skate with this one. Liebler working against Hyman for the puck. And it'll be taken away by Jackson. Shot deflected high. Bell trying to control the puck that time. And it'll get the pass back to Jackson for the Red Army. Intended for Vic. Madalena will clear this one out. Gray Wolves will regroup. Deflected off a of straighter. To Sharina. Deflected away by Whitlock. Now it's Madalena with the puck. Shoots it right into Vic. This one taken away by Jackson. Out to Chiquan. Gray Wolves will regroup. And this one will go back into the Red Army end. Mike Jackson retrieves the puck. Taken by Madalena. Off the boards, looking for Hyman. And Reels, once again, was the last gas grab for the Grey Wolves that could have stopped Hyman that time, and they are able to stop him. Chiquan looking for the setup, looking for the equalizing goal. Back over to Vic, and he goes right through and scores! Andy, I don't think I was expecting Brian Vic to even make a play like that, but you gotta give credit to him. That's a good highlight for him. And of course, anything's a great highlight. Again, Brian Vic getting a little bit of magic of his own with the finish. And he comes away with his first goal this season. I'm a, I want to say maybe even his first career goal in over 50 hockey. But that is a huge play there for the Grey Wolves to tie this thing up again. 1.51 to go in the second. And it's an unfamiliar name we haven't even called ever. And it's Brian Vick that comes up with a play here. Now Favier looking to take the lead. He'll fire the shot. Knocked away by Rosengard. Favier picking up his own rebound. Off the boards to Liebler in the deep slot. Liebler looking to set up to Dominici. Trying to fire the shot. Knocked away again. Grey Wolves now trying to show some complete pressure here. Liebler, his pass intercepted by Dominici. Knocks it away high. Well, it was a questionable high stick that time. Referees will wave this one off. 120 to go in the second. This pass out to Favier. Looking for Liebler. Taken away by Falbo. This one out over to Sincata. We'll dump this one in the Grey Wolf end. Reels trying to pick up the puck against Byrne. Now his pass taken away by Favier. Favier now to Liebler. Looking to skate this one to Favier all the way in the Red Army end. And Walker will blast this one away. Chacorn trying to get this one away from Falbo's possession. Now working against Gallant. Chacorn. Back around to Gallant. Gallant looking to get this pass out to Madalena. Knocked away here from Dominici. Regroups now over to Tish. This one out to Walker. Shoots off the back of the net. Oh, and that was a really dangerous there that time. It looked like a Grey Wolf almost might have taken that one to the house. Chacon regroups, looking to set up a play there. It'll be Brian Vick that picks up the puck. Bounce pass again. The other way to Bell. Finds Chaquan. They're looking to try to set the plate, and Ricci will ice the puck. But of course, not in time as we finally reach second intermission. And just like that, Andy, we had ourselves an exciting, a very exciting second period with lots of highlights in this one. Well, I got to tell you, now I'm really excited to see what's going to happen in this third period again when you have Sincotta. Or scoring a goal, Ricci with a goal and an assist, Chiquan with an unassisted goal, and then of course, my favorite, it's gonna be Brian Vick scoring again. Uh, let's say, just for the moment, it might be his first career goal, but we'll have to check the stat books on that one. I don't know off the top of my head, but all I know right now is that Brian Vick, his day was made today. He got a goal, assisted by Omar Chiquan. But it's not over till it's over. We still got another period of hockey left to be played, so. We'll see how it turns out. Third period coming up shortly. Tie game. Red Army 2, Grey Wolves 2. When we return, this is Over 50 Hockey on the Pontella Broadcasting Network.
Well, welcome back here, folks. Just about ready to begin the third period. Andrew Hyman and Larry Liebler take the face off. This one coming over to Gorman. He'll flip this one high, looking for Favier. Favier getting this one into the Red Army zone. Gray Wolves looking for a quick start here. And Rosengard comes out of the crease. Or part of him, I guess, comes out of the crease and makes a save there. Fast start there by the Gray Wolves. They thought a uh, by flipping the air, might have thrown the Red Army off guard, but it looks like they're still in position. Puck coming over to Bell, trying to control the puck. He'll still keep this one in play. Tish looking out to Favier, and this one comes back around. Tish takes it away. Gray Wolves still in position. He tried to make a play here. Firing shot, bounces off a of Rosengard. Gray Wolves looking for their rebound. It will be picked up by Strader. Javier still keeping his balance and he's got an open build. Tish can't control the puck. Oh boy. I gotta tell you, Andy, that that could have been a that was a real opportunity maker right there had Tish controlled it. I couldn't agree with you anymore, Angelo. Bill Tish again had an opportunity there. If he would have controlled the puck, that would have been a one-on-one -on -one breakaway against Rosengard, but unfortunately, one of his weaknesses is to control the puck. And of course, that's one of Tish's Achilles heels. That's something you have to try to control if you can. Puck bounces off the board, taken away by Favier. We'll fire the shot to, ooh, big deflection there that time. Almost would have been a bad deflection into the net. Bounced off of Jackson at first, threw Rosengard off. But they'll regroup. Passes to Chacon, taken away by Jackson. We'll bounce this one up to Liebler, or to Sincata, that is. Gets a pass out to Galan on the left side. Gets around Chacon, and an offside call has been made. Chaquan and Galan on the faceoff. This one over to Steve Byrne. Gets a shot out to Dominici. Finds Chaquan. It's two on one with Sharina. Only Byrne back. Bounces off of Byrne. Chaquan firing the shot. They'll pick up this rebound. Grey Wolves looking to set up a play again. Byrne now out to Galan. Dominici. Trying to find Reels. Reels keeps it in play. Sharina out to Chacon. Dominici fires a shot, hits the corner. Gray Wolves take the lead for the first time this game with nine and a half minutes to go. And it's Pete Dominici that sneaks this one in off the corner. And that is the third consecutive week Rosengard has given up a goal in that bottom right corner of the net. And of course it seems to be that his Achilles heel right now is just Rosengard failing to just stretch out long enough to try to reach those shots. And it seems like they're capitalizing every time. Well, the Grey Wolves look like they're finally capitalizing on their chances because they had their first lead with nine and a half minutes to go in this game. So that time, Chaquan picking up his second assist on the game. Favier trying to get this one set up to Sharina, now taken away by Liebler. Find Sharina. Sharina with the setup again, taken away by Whitlock for the Red Army. Bounces off of Sharina. Sharina trying to fire, and this one knocked away by Rosengard. This puck going all the way back in the gray will then. Taken away by Liebler, he'll regroup. Strader stops the puck, but gives it right back over to Liebler. We'll find Tish entering the Red Army zone. Looks to set up to Liebler again, tic-tac-toe play, knocked around, and just out of Rosengard's reach. Bounces off of Hyman that time. Shot taken by Favier, knocked away by Rosengard. Gorman firing the shot, knocked away again. This one out to Strader. And this is Tish. This one around to Gorman. Taken away by Hyman, looking to set it to Madalena. We'll fire the shot, and Madalena scores! 
And I think that just made my day, Andy. Oh boy, Madalena there to tie things up again. 8.07 to go. I almost saw that. I knew that that was going to be coming. As soon as they screened him, they gave Madalena a chance. And he finds his way. Oh goodness. And I'm not sure if there was some, some questions there in terms of if there was a screen. There might have been a potential penalty on that one, but it got waved off perhaps by the Grey Wolves. I'm not sure. But we're going to see right now. I mean, that would have been a, a nice goal by Madalena. I mean, that was exciting to see, but are they going to consider it a, a penalty or a goal? or? And now the Grey Wolves are trying to argue that there was a player that knocked Herman off or there was some interference in the crease and now the referee's going to have to talk things over. So we're going to hold off there for a second. I don't know what just happened there in that last minute. No, uh, th did they nullify the goal? Yeah, I think they did. Yeah, they did. So, it at first looked like it might have been a potential goal by John Madalena, but I think something must have happened where there was an interference. Someone was going in the crease for the Red Army, and Steve Gorman somehow picked up a penalty. But. I don't know if you can ex shed any light on this, Andy, but I don't know what just happened that time. Well, I mean, once you go back over the film and you see what's going on, there'll be a little bit more of a clear picture, but to me, I interpret it as somehow uh, referee Ron Buckner thought that Steve Gorman had some high-sticking affair going on and he was able to knock him down as well, but Steve Gorman, in his argument, was trying to tell Buckner that there were one too many players from the Red Army in the crease of Herman that time, and I don't believe Buckner bought that story. Again, I'm not sure how you would have officiated that or administered it, but then again, you know, I'm not a referee, so I wouldn't quite understand it. Chaquan, his pass out to Sharina, and it's a two-on-one with Favier against Walker. Sharina looking to set this one up to Favier. Defended well, Sharina's pass. And Steve Byrne will scoop underneath and pick this one up. 52 seconds left on the Red Army power play. Jackson looking to walk around Liebler, but it gets knocked away. Knocked around by Strader, back over to Whitlock. Dominici out to Favier. Whitlock looking for Strader. And he'll pick up on the puck. Tish trying to get a stick in there that time. And the puck control is seemingly looking well thus far for the Grey Wolves. Now it's Liebler. Finds the pass out to Favier. 10 seconds to go on the power play. Liebler fires the shot. Deflected off a man. And just like that, the Grey Wolves successfully kill off the power play attempt there by the Red Army and Dominici regroups, join, Gorman rejoins his teammates on the ice. And now it's out to Favier. Into the Red Army zone, finds Liebler on the right side and it gets knocked away by Hyman. 5.50 to go and Dominici shoots it right into Madalena. Grey Wolves trying to hang on to a tight 3-2 lead, looking to give the Red Army their second regular season loss this season. Shot deflected into Liebler, and he'll take off with the puck. Finds Tish, has to regroup, looking to set back up the other way. And it's now back to Hyman for the Red Army, looking for Madalena. Stopped by Gorman. Grey Wolves looking to add another score on. And this puck batted high. Again, that might have looked like a high stick from our view. But the Red Army are able to regroup. 
Pass intended for Jackson, intercepted by Chiquan. Into the Red Army zone. Chiquan working against Jackson. That's got to be a holding call, and the referees aren't calling it. Well, of course, again, not exactly sure what these referees are doing, if they're just going to be letting the play go on or what, but that clearly looked like Jackson had his arms wrapped around Chiquan that time. I, I don't know if there's any other definition of holding in terms of uh, these refereeing's books, but... Gallant against Bell. Looking to try to find his shot. Looking to set back up the other way. Tipped away by Gorman. Jackson trying to fire the shot. Madalena trying to put this one in in just too much time. And that would have been the tying goal there for the Red Army had they have taken their chance. And that just might have been the difference in terms of their chance to get back in this one. We'll see. Walker shot. Fired into the back of Sharina. Regroups. And this one comes out to Strader. 4.08 to go in the game. And Steve Byrne will go for the puck. Back in his own end. Working off of Liebler. Finds Gallant. Gallant gets a nice clean pass to Falbo. Looking for Ricci. Bounces off of Favier instead. Be picked up by Gallant. Looking for Ricci. Bounces off. And now comes Strader. Tish. His pass intended for Liebler, fired shot. And I think there might have been a potential slashing call coming up. I'm not, I don't even know if slashing was the right word, but. It's offside. It looks like it's just nothing more than an offside call that time. Well, that's what I thought, Angelo, because for a second I thought it looked like with Galant's shot, it looked just as if it was a, kind of like in a slashing motion trying to get that puck out. And I wasn't sure if they were going to be calling that a slash on Gallant that time. You never know with these referees. Dominici looking for Tish. It gets off of his stick. Now back over to Whitlock. Intercepted by Favier. Gray Wolves trying to put some icing on the cake. And Hyman will take this puck away. This one deflected off of Tish. Now back over to Ricci to Hyman. Working off of Dominici. Getting close to the crease. I've been looking for the setup the other way, and it's going to be taken away by Liebler. Stopped by Hyman. Sandwiched by Grey Wolf players, and this one's to Strader, but it's going to be an offsides call. 2.48 now to go in the game. And the Red Army are going to need to look to find a way to make this push if they're going to be looking to try to get this one into a shootout. And it looks like a timeout's being called by the Red Army here. 2.48 to go in this game. Gray Wolves hanging on to a tight 3-2 lead. And Andy, who do you think might have the advantage on this one? I'm definitely thinking the Red Army at this point. We've seen this Red Army team come from behind many times before, especially within the final three minutes. And given the statistics of the Gray Wolves, again, like I said earlier, this Gray Wolf team has had a lot of trouble in this end game trying to put a team away. And they've always let the opposing team come through the back door within the final minutes. Um, I believe right now, Angelo, the Red Army have what it takes to tie this one up 3-3 to head to a shootout. Well, on that note, again, Gray Wolves, can they do it? Can they hang on for their fifth win of the season? We'll see when we return. You are watching Over 50 Hockey on the Fontella Broadcasting Network. Shaquan and Gallant once again at the faceoff. It seems to be the pinning point of this match every time those two go for a faceoff. And it always is, you know. Two of your five star, the five star players going at it. It's always a treat to see. But it's one of those that could make a potential difference should strategy be in play. Shaquan looking to get around Walker. He makes Walker lose his jock strap. The shot taken. Shaquan trying to save this one through. Jamming shot. And the referees trying to determine to see if it's a goal or not. The Gray Wolves just, even though they were in the lead, they looked like they practically threw the kitchen sink at Rosengard in the crease. And we'll see if it's paid off. No, they're going to say it's a save. 
but you've got to give credit there to the Grey Wolves. I mean, they tried to put this game away early before the Red Army even have a chance. So now face-off again taking place. Pass over to Chikwon. Gets away from Sincata. Burn. Now back over to Chikwon with some extra energy. And this one gets back over to Bell. Fires the shot. Shoots it right into Walker. Trying to clear this one out. Stopped by Gorman. And Gorman flips this puck high. Back into the Red Army end. It's Vic. Sets it up to Chikwon. Looking for the tic-tac-toe play. Chikwon gets this one knocked away from his possession. Walker now finds Sincata. Finds an open Jackson. And Sharina trying to skate back quickly. Sharina trying to get to the puck. And he'll come away with it. A big stop there again. Mike Jackson thought he had an opportunity for a breakaway there. Sharina got back in time. And the Grey Wolves are still alive. Gallant with the puck in the deep slot. Working against Vic and Gorman. Jackson sets it up to an open Steve Byrne. Will fire the shot. Sincata trying to set up by the crease and it's going to be taken away by Gorman. Minute 20 to go in this game. Rosengard trying to make a play here. We'll get this puck flipped out. And Favier trying to take a shot to end the game. He had the chance right there with the six man. Here comes Favier again trying to put this one away. It'll work around and the Red Army are back in business. Now they can force a six man opportunity here as Gallant gets a pass around to Sincata. Working off of Favier, shot taken. It'll be saved by Herman. And now Herman wants, uh, wants after the whistle call there that time, and we saw just at the last second, just before the referee blew the whistle, I think that's when the uh, skate incident occurred on Herman. 52.7 seconds to go, and this is now a do or die time, but this is the reason why game of the week makes it game of the week. Well, no doubt about it. When games are determined, especially in the final minutes, that's where it all comes down to. I would be very intrigued that this one ends in a shootout. Hyman with the setup. Looking the other way, taken away by Favier, and he's gonna try to get a long shot. And just misses to the left of the net that time. And it'll be an icing call. And now the Grey Wolves are trying to figure out if they need to call a timeout to get themselves situated. I mean, why would you call a timeout if you're the Grey Wolves? You're just looking to try to get this game over with. Again, the Red Army on, on their heels right now with six men. Walker with the setup shot, fires around, bouncing puck, and it's saved by Herman again. See, this is the point right now where it's like a basketball game where, you know, you take a few seconds off the clock and then you try to regroup, strategize, try to figure out what kind of chance you have to get back in this one to try to get the tying goal. And you just got to continue to do what you got to do to try to still edge in that tying goal. Jaquan and Hyman on the faceoff. Back over to Jackson, sets up to Walker, firing shot. And this one gets around to Jackson again for the Red Army. Chaquan will take this one away. Red Army's got to get back quickly. Chaquan with the puck. He'll fire the shot. He puts it through. Game over. 19 and a half seconds to go. Oma Chaquan got a free breakaway. He'll put this one in, but I'm not sure if Commissioner John Finney is going to be eliminating his stats after that one. Yeah, well, you know, now that you bring it up, Andy, Chaquan just might have eliminated his stats, which could be a little bit of trouble trying to track him you know, for the rest of the season, but hopefully uh, John Finney will be somewhat merciful to these players. And on that note, Chaquan ices the game with the goal. Gray Wolves will move on to 5-0-3 oh, on the season. Red Army will drop to 5-2-1 and one after what was just a hard-fought battle all the way through. But it's just like we said before, that that, goal, that, was, that could have made the difference in the game had the Herman interference by the crease made things a little bit different here. Well, of course, we know what you're trying to say there. You know, again, the big thing is if that, well, we agree, you know, if that call would have went the other way, well, that would have initially went in as a goal and they would have not seen any interference whatsoever by the Red Army inside the crease. 
then this game might be into a shootout and could have had a different result. But again, give credit to both of these teams. You know, these are why right, these are the top two teams in the league. You know, just the whole fought effort, the pressure that they give. It's just absolutely outstanding to see both of these teams play. And I think, Angelo, we were in for a real treat tonight. Both teams playing hard. And can't wait to see when we, to see how this game's going to go up again next time these two teams meet. Well, they won't meet up in another couple of weeks for their final match of the regular season, but well, they played hard. So on that note, this has been another production of the Fontella Broadcasting Network. And again, we'd like to thank our viewers again for tuning in, seeing this game. It's viewers like you that make us very proud to be the Fontella Broadcasting Network to get these games broadcasted out to you guys. It's a real treat. So we thank you again for watching and we hope you continue to watch our games as the seasons and future years go on. But it's always a big thing, you know, the fans make it happy and of course it'd be nice to even see some fans here at the step at the uh, Ice Sports Forum in one of these rinks. Kind of make it a little bit more of a game atmosphere, that's the biggest thing. So of course just a few stat highlights here again. Chiquan with two goals, an empty netter and the first unassisted goal to get the Grey Wolves tied up. After the Red Army started off with the lead. And of course, Brian Vick picking up a goal of his own. And of course, that was also a great highlight to see as well. And he, again, you know, we can't stop talking about it. Every time you have Brian Vick in the mix and for him to score, you know, that's one of the reasons why over 50 hockey is so enjoyable when you see these one and two stars scoring their goals. And it's just a rarity to see, but that's what makes it a highlight within itself. And now for the Red Army again, even though they had some kind of Ricci scoring goals, it wasn't enough to try to give an upset or even to give the Grey Wolves their first regular season loss. Which again, it's a disappointment because even though you see the Grey Wolf team as a strong team, you have to do everything you can to stop them and now they're the team to beat. Well, that note, folks, on behalf of Andy Townsend, I'm Angelo Pontello saying so long, good night, and we hope everybody has a blessed evening. Take care, everybody. We will see you back here next week.